Asuka is a village nestled among the hills of the Nara Prefecture of Kansai, in Japan. Asuka lays claim to some seriously strange stone carvings. But one in particular is very special indeed. The village has its origins in the Tumulus period around 300 AD, also called Kafunji I, which means Old Mount period. Though clearly the stones predate this colonization by some years. The area is known for its many Buddhist temples, shrines and sanctuaries, but there are stone monuments within these hills that predate even the Buddhists. Built to specific specifications, for a purpose we are unclear of, their exquisite style, sculpture and construction, has baffled specialists, no one seems to know who built them. When? Or indeed why? The largest and clearly the most interesting of the collection, rests at the top of the hill, as if perched ready for takeoff, known as Masuda no Iwafune, which is said to mean the rock ship of Masuda. It sits atop the steep incline of a hill near Okadira station and its purpose remains a mystery. The rock ship measures over 35 feet in length, and is 15 feet tall. It is made of solid granite, which makes it somewhere around 800 tons in weight. With two holes each about a meter square in the center, going through to the ground. It's said that Masuda no Iwafound bears a striking similarity in its construction to another enigmatic stone megalith in Japan, known as Ishi no Hoden. It is currently a site of worship dedicated to the Shinto god Oshiko Jinja, again, no one knows who carved it, though it's thought to also have two mysteriously placed holes at its center. Also in the same region of Asuka, the precision cut granite monolith, that sits as if crash landed in a small passageway between cliffs. Why is an ancient stone perched on top a hill in Japan? Why throughout its history has it been looked upon as being a craft? Why the mysteriously precisely cut holes? Also, an interesting note, these monoliths seem to have not been constructed to sit on a base. Called the rock ships, are we looking at ancient alien craft? Are we looking at advanced ancient technology? Have we been looking at everything of ancient civilization in the wrong way? Are even the ancient pyramids craft, if we are ever to work out the truth, we will always need those who suspect the preposterous.